conceptual people talk Real about talk, it, it throwing shots. all of the elements something that is trending right now uh, and before I do I want to remind you to support the work that we're doing at the Odyssey Project uh, for those of you who had tuned in uh, to the panel discussion on black men and black women on Monday uh, for the Power Hour radio show thanks for dropping in and showing your support and your love uh, I was able to see some of the thread and see some of the guys who dropped in uh, I really appreciate it uh, it means a lot to me. Uh, also, uh, we need your support. So show your love, show your support. Um, you know, it's always going to be in the first paragraph of the description box or post box of any video that has something to do with the Black Voice or the Odyssey Project. So, again, show your love uh, for the research programs that we have going, which I've been doing for 30 years. Uh, some of the community programs like Black, Black, the Black Man Lead Rite of Passage Initiative, uh, Restoring Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, which I do with my wife, Marion, uh, which stems from her book, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, uh, which uh, basically shares her life experiences from a child on and how she grew out of trauma and became a force in the community and the force of the lives of women specifically. Um, uh, show you, show you love. I'm gonna move on and, uh, real quickly. This whole thing uh, going on with Dave Chappelle. For those of you who uh, have not uh, heard or don't know what's going on, uh, you may remember that some years ago, Dave Chappelle had an impasse with Viacom and Hollywood in general about some things he was just simply not going to do and not take part in. Uh, and then that was an impasse, and he literally walked away from a $50 million contract uh, that was tied to the Dave Chappelle show. And he eventually came back, did some stand-up, did some other things, but the contract is still in effect because it has not been satisfied. Well, Viacom, who owns the contract, uh, decided to stream the show uh, to make money on Netflix, but they didn't pay, J they didn't pay Dave. Now, Technically, based on the contract, they didn't have to, but Dave basically comes out and says, you know, while it is legally right, is it truly right? And he, he challenges, you know, challenges on an ethical and moral uh, basis. And so uh, what Dave did that I think that is interesting and I think it's something that we need to really look at more deeper and I'm going to be looking into it uh, so that I can talk about it on an even deeper level uh, but Dave didn't just bitch about it he didn't just whine about it he understood that he had a relationship with Netflix and that made Netflix a lot of money and so he called Netflix up and said while wow, you can legally stream this knowing that I'm not getting paid for it I have to let you know that I'm not comfortable with it. I don't like it and I don't think it's right. Netflix, from what I understand, and I could be wrong on one part of this, but what I understand, not only did Netflix stop streaming it, so basically said, told Viacom, we're not gonna stream it, and stopped streaming it, they paid him for what they had made off of it so that he still got paid. Now, that's the difference between this whole strength and power thing. Strength is something that is exerted. It takes a lot of energy and a lot of effort, and it's constant. We we talk a lot about strong black women that don't realize how much it takes out of them because of the need to be strong, which shouldn't be there. They should be protected. But anyway, what I'm trying to get at here is that Dave executed power from where I'm sitting and from what I can see. Maybe I missed something. Maybe I'm a little off. But what, from what I can see is Dave executed power. Power is when you pick up the telephone, you say something, and something gets done. See, that's the difference between the exertion of flexing of, of strength versus the possession of power. 
And that's something as a people we have not yet uh, come to a true understanding of is that when you possess power, there's less, less need for strength. Those two are not uh, synonymous, although they are often used as such. They are different. Strength is something you express physically, emotionally. Power is something you execute because you possess it. It is the possession of instruments of strength that are used on your behalf. It's it, it, it's something that comes with possessing something. And so I saw that and I said, okay, people are asking me what I think about it. So let me just go ahead and do a real quick video on it. We have to understand what it what is required in the process of the acquisition of power uh, because there is a process. There is a platform and a foundation on which the power uh, must rest. And if we don't have that foundation, then we can't truly possess power. And we will never be able to win trying to amass and use strength against power. You know, when we talk about speaking truth, we don't say speaking truth to strength. We say speaking truth to power because truth empowers. Uh, there, are some, there are some stuff you can do with truth. And it doesn't require strength. It only, only, only requires truth and a willingness to use it. And that is the thing that we have to be aware of. We have to be keenly cognizant of the difference and the distinction between strength and power. And uh, what's going on with this? I'm interested to see how this plays out because uh, there are some who actually believe that Dave has enough leverage at this particular point. And he has some, but you know, Viacom is a monster. And Dave literally calls him a monster too. Uh, in, 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 in basically speaking out about this, he, he talks about it being a monster. He says it's a monster and he said it goes beyond race. Uh, it's not just that I'm a black man, it's that, that I'm just another uh, cog that the, the power structure has decided to uh, manhandle. And so, in, in, in essence, that's interesting in and of itself, but there are some who believe that Dave has enough leverage and has the willingness to put himself out there like that to actually force Viacom back to the table to renegotiate that contract. And that would be something interesting because that would be a black man literally willing power and putting a white institution in a place they don't want to be. But the, we shall see. We shall see how that goes. But I just want to touch bases on that. The ability to pick up the phone and kill a multi-million dollar at minimal deal. And depending on what the the uh, contract is with Viacom or the agreement is with Viacom for streaming. Uh, this could be this could be a huge hit for Viacom, and if Dave is a Dave is able to do this on other streaming uh, platforms, it could become interesting real quick. Uh, the, the fact that Dave was able to do this with Viacom owning the not only the rights to the name of the show but also to his likeness. And I have yet to understand why our people sell their likeness. We see dollar signs and we literally give up. Nobody offers you a $5 million record deal unless what you are bringing to the table is worth 50 million, minimum. And that's where we lose power is we get so caught up in the immediate gratification that we lose sight of the bigger issue. Now, that very thing that makes you special, makes you exceptional, makes you different, gives you value, you sold it to someone else for pennies on the dollar. And we do it over and over again. Our, our artists uh, do it over and over again. We sign contracts uh, that are ridiculous. Athletes do it over and over and over again because we don't understand the true nature of value and how it works. If anybody's willing to pay you, even on your job, if you've got a six-figure job, you're earning the company at least a million dollars a year, 10 times that. You have to understand the nature and the value of your worth and how you produce it and how it's represented in the world so that you don't be uh, getting a situation where you're taken advantage of. Uh, that's so much more I want to speak on this, and I'm going to probably do a very... 
uh, in-depth session on it because it's so much bigger than Dave Chappelle. It is a microcosm of what we're dealing with as a black people. And I want to talk about it on that level, but I just had to come to you and share what I was thinking. Now, some, too many people were asking me about it. So that's my take on it. I got to get out here and get some things done, get back because I have a session in about 20 minutes. But I uh, wanted to talk about that. And so that's that. Don't forget, show your love, show your support. I'm out of here. Peace. Hello, everybody. Dr. Rick Wallace here, dropping in with a little special announcement. For those who have followed me for any stretch of time, you know, outside of the businesses that I run, like Myriad Business Solutions, the Visionetics Institute, Odyssey Media Group, I also do a great deal of work inside of the inner city communities uh, in Houston, Dallas, and other areas. Uh, I'm asking now as we push a fundraiser that you support what the Odyssey Project is doing in the inner cities, uh, especially with programs like Black Men Lead, which is a rite of passage uh, initiative, and Restoring Ghetto for, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, which is a program focused on helping young girls, but boys as well, suffering from childhood sexual abuse, uh, rape, molestation, domestic abuse, uh, absentee fatherhood, and so many other things. Uh, the information will be in the box. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Dr. Rick Wallace here dropping in on you. First of all, I want to thank everyone for all the love and support that you have given uh, and sent my way and my wife's way and the organization's way. Now, I want to just take a brief moment to remind you that we still need your support. We still need your help. Go to the description box of one of our videos and see how you can support the work we're doing. Keep supporting, keep loving us, and we're going to keep loving you back. Have an awesome day. Yeah, he sounded better than Jay. People talk Real about talk, it. Like throwing shots. All of the elements.